Uh, ben says this, and um, in your experience, is it worth attempting bottoms up kettlebell lifts before progressing to the next weight? The advantage of the kettlebell bottoms up, and this is the advantage, and this is why I like it so much, is you have to be totally in line. So everything has to line up and you have to have appropriate tension through every inch of the leak uh, of, of the links. So if you leak at all, the bell flops over. So there is great value in using bottoms up to teach tension. After that, I'm not sure. I, I, I get it. It's on, you know, it's the internet. Circus tricks, you know, are, are the key for everyone. But uh, no, I'm not a, I'm a huge fan of them for teaching tension and linkage. I'm not a huge fan of them for, mo I would say the bulk of the population ever, because, you know, you if you have a bell here and it flops in your face, that's going to be bad. And you're going to say, oh, it never happens. Watch that happen. Uh, Watch that happen many times. Uh, one, I, I taught my athletes how to do this. And I don't anymore because of that. Um, if so, is loaded carries and maybe presses. Um, there is great, there is value. Uh, Stu McGill recommends this. Um, the rack carry in the bottoms up position for shoulder stability. Uh, I I was with a major, uh, an all star major league baseball player who before every game does one set of double twenty fours, one rep, one set double 24s, bottoms up, front squat. If he misses it, he puts the weights down. He kind of goes through a kind of a little checklist. Is it my mobility, my flexibility? Uh, do I need bird dogs? Do I need to walk around more? Do I need to, you know, drink some electrolytes? Do I need a nap? And he doesn't feel secure to play until he does that. And I think there's brilliance to that. I love an assessment like that. That's a very personal assessment. I'm not, please, dear God, don't, I don't want to hear about some idiotic 10 year old baseball coach having his whole, you know, those elite baseball teams with 10 year olds who are, you know, they all, you know, they have the, you know, thousand dollars worth of equipment and, you know, <laughs> they couldn't beat my neighborhood kids in a, in a, in a game. But, you know, I don't do that. But I, I like it, the idea of, of a one-person one assessment. Uh, and finally, Ben says, is this a show-off move? Yeah, it can be. I, I do it sometimes um, just to, you know, just to show off. I mean, you know, I, I, I do it as a teaching moment to remind people, you know, to stay focused and, and go after it. But, yeah, there's value. Yes, lots of value. Can you overdo it? Oh, yeah, because we overdo it everything in the weight room, right? 